Oh, I forgot to uh, switch it over to the coming soon. It's a bit of buoyancy in that. Hey, welcome. Sorry, I'm just sitting there, pretend thinking I'm behind the curtain. <laughs> oh, I've got the ague. Uh, welcome to the Tuesday night waffle. Ali Dulali, thank you for joining me. Evening, Terry. You all right? Yeah, could have a little bit of a moan today. Okay, yeah. Uh, and I'll talk you through uh, what's going on, but let's get everybody in. Uh, and they can see what we're, what I'm gonna moan about. Um, and I very rarely moan. That's not true. Uh, that's something I've told myself. Uh, if anything, every other word. I tell you what, I've started doing, uh, Ali. Uh, yeah. Just going, like, turning on the, you know, now TV or something, and it doesn't work first time, and I'm like, fuck my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always me. Why? <laughs> you know uh, yeah. my ex used to say to me it doesn't deserve a fuck does it and I'm like no <laughs> no you're quite right welcome to the Tuesday night waffle the audio stream bitrate zero is lower than the recommended bitrate nah forget it I don't give a shit it is asked me about this before okay Ugh. Always, always. Uh, suggested audio bitrate. Uh, in fact, no, let me take a little picture of that and I'll run that after the show. Um, because YouTube is new to all of this, so it's a bit crap. Sorry, my OBS is giving me warnings. Uh, is the stream going all right, though? Um, uh, yeah. Can, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm just getting error. Well, a suggestion, it says. Let me just get that right. Welcome, welcome, one and all. I hope you're well. Uh, listen, uh, why don't you do me a favour? <laughs> why don't you click the bell? <laughs> Otherwise your bum holds... Oh, no, it doesn't work if you put a thing in front of it. Uh, think about uh, giving us a... Uh, a, 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 a yeah. Uh, although, are you... Is everybody still getting notifications? Because that's one of the... Why are you moving so much? I don't know, sorry. It's the last of painting the room, and this is just moving on its own. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, what are we doing tonight? I'm having a moan. Nah, I'm having an official moan, uh, because you know what? You've got to fight back a little bit when you are not in the wrong. Um, your chat is being weird, lol. Okay. Uh, but as long as you can hear me. Uh, I got notification. Yeah, some people don't. Uh, um, so, okay. Well, we're all up and running. Um, it's Tuesday, is it? Already? Can you... And we're off. And we're off. Uh, and the clocks have gone forward. Uh, I used to have um, a German car. Uh, 2000. Uh, it was made. And changing the clock on that fucking thing, you'd need, uh, like, a degree. You had to put mm. the... You had to put the ignition in a certain position and... Mm. Anyway, uh, I saw Sans. you ever. I, I saw Sans and I got a Mondeo. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you can do it. You just press... It says change clock and you change clock. And you're like, why? Well, Tracy Have you ever? tonight drove for a meeting. Mm. Oh, um, have you ever left it six months? Yeah. Because then, yeah, you know, every time with that, that, every time with the Mercedes, because I forgot each time. Don't get me wrong, uh, German engineering, Christ, maybe not, maybe not. Some, no, no, you know, there's oh wow, uh, you you go through these. Uh, the, there's bits, there's implements in uh, underneath the bonnet of a Mercedes that you will never know that are there that were put by the German engineers, and they're absolutely amazing uh i i'm with the germans me uh if we stand next to the if we stand next to the germans or, or we stand uh, together with the germans i'm not really that worried anymore so uh and that's all because of uh my mercedes e20 <sighs> okay welcome to the show uh, uh, uh welsh wales fabulous it's welsh wales <laughs> 
Uh, Wales is fabulous today. A uh, little bit of rain went out for a run. I'm desperately struggling with running. Uh, I run past two ladies. And when I say they were fit, uh, what I'm referring to is uh, the state of their physicality. Uh, no, not, the, not that I was looking at the, bo the boobs or bums. Uh, I'm talking about their lung capacity. Uh, and uh, they totally, uh, I nodded at them and they could see that uh, I, this was a man that had not run recently. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was going up more than across. I was just, oh man, uh, it was just an absolute uh, mare. So I'm getting that going today. But we, we've had lovely weather. I'm getting a bit of uh, colour back to me, as you can see, because I go incredibly um, pale. Uh, and now I'm sort of on the edge of ruddy, uh, which is great. So uh, welcome, welcome, one and all. Do click the bell. Right, let's get the moan out of the way. Um, I need to moan about an organisation. And I also need to moan to you to let you know, because here's the thing that we were talking about on Monday, if you were on my Twitch channel. As you get older, you only really want to get told off when you've done something wrong. Don't tell me off when I'm doing everything right, because all you do is destroy my faith in your organisation, and it destroys my faith uh, in anything. There are two sides to everything, uh, and I want to moan uh, about uh, an organisation uh, called... Um, uh, what's it called? Any Key? Yeah, which we started on a journey two years ago uh, because when I first started, uh, it was just rammed with people going, "You old boomer, get the fuck off the internet." The, you know, you know how the the youth think that everything's geared up for them, like the internet's for them. Uh, I think if I, mummy and daddy are actually paying for the thing, you know. Uh, so we always promote a safe place, right? Uh, yeah. Aniki is an advocacy organisation dedicated to sporting diverse participations in esports and across streaming channels. So you had that right from the start. Right from the start. Them? Right from the start. Right. Okay. So here we go. Uh, and this is what I got late last night after I finished the stream. Um, just a bit of a threat, really. Um, apparently, I've been under investigation. I've been on other people's streams uh, and I've been spamming uh, and sending hateful stuff. Now, anybody who knows me, when I finish on here, when I finish on Twitch, it's just not true. I don't even, even like when we raid, normally um, Ali, lovely Ali, you'll send a message saying, oh, Terry's off now because we're finished, right? Val and Vane always says... Uh, I understand when you're done, you're done. I don't really hang about on other people's streams. Not because I don't want to, um, because I'm done, right? And there's other things to do. And we've got to name the clips up after they're done here and put in the about section uh, what's going on. But to get this is disgusting, right? Because yeah, you are, you're absolutely correct. I am horrible, man. Um, to get this is awful because the next stage is just taking my badge away with no no proof nothing nothing against me and i'm sure anybody here or anybody watching this clip will just know uh, and i've sent them an, an email that i wouldn't do this sort of thing and i sent them an email saying don't do this you know you need to look into stuff more because you're not protecting me as a streamer because I think I know full well, I think we all do as the the admins, who's, who has uh, started this, don't we? We have a little inkling, but we're not going to say any names. Uh, yep. Because we don't want to, right? Now, the way this started is somebody was on my Twitch channel and they were warned, wouldn't you say, repeatedly by the mods? Yeah. Uh, and they went over and over and over and over and over it again, right? So 
eventually uh, I finish I think last Friday uh, after a show and I've spoken about my insecurities and how hard it is to to kind of uh, be brave and do these shows to not many people some days and you know you think oh should I stop and crap like this um, that person had sent me a shitty uh, passive aggressive message uh, a whisper right and it pissed all over my Friday night Terry Vision vibe that I had this bullshit in my whisper box. So I turned my whispers off immediately and uh, I, I said to the mods, ban him. I don't want that shit. Don't think that you live in a world where you can reach out to me and give me shit when I'm doing exactly the same as everything else. I am trying to hold it together. I've moved to Wales to try and carry on this thing. I'm doing everything I can. There is no work coming in today. Uh, I, luckily, I did a few cameos. I did a, a little private job on the internet. I'm moving and I'm shaking it. Don't send me aggressive messages because you don't like what my mods do. I take on all of my mods are adults. They're all adults. Nobody would say anything because they understand stand right and it's the same right alex got banned if you ban me right which they don't have the power to do but somebody like that what this person did could just send one message to twitch and they put me under investigation and they suspend me for a week and that's a hundred dollars kind of it's about 66 dollars i make a, a week right that, that's lost it's not fair there's nothing to protect the streamer. And that person needs to learn that they are being a child. You know, you messaged me. And do you know what I messaged them back after they spoke to me like crap? Absolutely nothing. Because I don't. It's not my job. I leave it, right? Just bobbed it off and off it went. So this little shit has just gone off and written a, a thing and made up this whole sort of thing against it. It's not good enough. I will take the blame, right? I will be told off. I can be told off if I've done something wrong. But you all know that I promote everything possible. I come from a world where I was incredibly dyslexic and, you know, council our stock. We had the piss taken out of us all the time. I know what it's like to have the piss relentlessly taken out and, and no inch given as a kid. You know, and, and and people looking at you as if you're their shit on your shoe. I know exactly what it's like, so I go out of my way. So when this shit happens, it's like, nah, man, any key. I'm not swearing. I'm not having a go at you. Protect the streamers. Protect. There are two people on this. One person has launched. There's no proof. There's, that's it, right? Underneath that, there's just saying, if you carry on, uh, we will revoke all of your thingies uh, and it's gone. So it's a bit of a threat, really. All I'm asking is you make it so things are based in proof because there's no way I went under investigation because you would see that I don't even type uh, on... Uh, or I don't even... You know, when I finish, I finish, off I go. I normally have my dinner late at night. You know, I hang out with my mate. I'm on the bed with Kuro, you know. I don't hang about in other people's stuff because I'm so, you know, all we do. I mean, after this, me and Ali are going to have a chat about what's on Friday night show, what's doing. You know, we just, we're, I'm a streamer. I'm not a, a person that goes into other things. I've said before, I stand in truth, so you cannot push me over. Investigate me, by all means, and you will just see that we've gone out of our way to really plug this. So really plug any key and plug everybody's feelings. So when you get something like this, it's crap. Because you're giving the power to an angry person to make something up and you don't even look at it. You just go bosh straight for me. Now, I have a blue tick on my uh, Instagram. Bear with me, I'm not showing off. And I also work on a lot of children's, you know, uh, cartoons and stuff. If you do this to me, you will screw me over. You know, it's not fair. Understand, if you're running an organisation, you need to protect the streamers as much as you protect the people. And if you're going to make an accusation, you at least need to give me some sort of proof. 
Otherwise, I have to say, any key, take my badge away because I don't want anything to do with you because I don't think you have enough people to run your business or conduct it in a good way. And I don't feel safe. And also taking from the moment we've put that any key up there, we've had time after time people come in and it's always men, isn't it, Ali? Well, there's, there was one person that was a little bit uh, wonky doola, but it's mainly always men who do something desperately inappropriate. And when they're challenged against it, they become a victim. This mm. is a man pattern, right? I, and I know some women do it as well, but it's a lot of the geezers on it. They say something so bad and they're corrected by one of the mods and they hate it. And in fact, in the message that I was given, I was accused of being as toxic as Limmy's community. Why has everybody got to go back? Why has everybody got... I don't give a crap. Why has everybody got to go to Limmy for some sort of benchmark of... I think it's just success. I think people are jealous uh, uh, of Limmy's success. So what they do is they just go, oh, he was, you know, like, it's just, I'm not interested. Limmy's Limmy. Other people are other people. If you don't like what my mods do, take it up with my mods. Because I'm not the streamer to turn around. My mods work for nothing. All the time, they do me loads of favours. And I always say to them, if you've banned somebody, if you've timed somebody out, I trust you. Right? That's the thing. And that's my moan today. Don't make it so people who have a shit fit because they don't like when they're being told off we all get told off if i'd have gone on alex's say alex isn't streaming but if i say i'd gone on to another streamers and i'd have just pratted about because people wouldn't know that it was a private joke and then it was flagged up i would take this on the chin and i would send an apology back and i would but i haven't been anywhere i ain't typed anything so somebody can literally go online report me to either twitch or youtube i will be suspended for uh you know a week while they investigate it it is not fair you know if you aren't happy with other streamers take it up with their lot i don't give a fuck stop benchmarking other people and don't think you know, this is like when people meet me in the street, right? I'm not, I'm just not that well known, right? I'm a job in actor and the jobs are far and few between. Most people never recognize me, but occasionally you get people and they're rude and they go, didn't like this, didn't like that, didn't like that. You can't do that. Fuck off. I normally say, oh, well, thanks for that. You know, I'm, I get a bit, uh, you know, sort of like prickly because people need to know you can't fucking just do this. It's not fair. I am not your fucking punch bag. I am not your... If you don't like something, take it on the chin. Right? Don't start a whole shitty fittery. Because this person that's done this gets away scot-free. And also, I have to say to them, if you're watching right now, a little bit unhinged. Because really, uh, I got rid of you because you cannot message me with your own private crappy little thoughts and try and take things out of me when I am just another person facing the same sort of shit and I don't want your shit, right? I don't go back at you. I didn't attack you. I didn't call you a name. So this is a bit pathetic. And you have to watch how you are investing your time. You get this all the time. But if this was one person, we'd have never flagged it up. But this is an organisation to promote anything. Really, really upsetting, you know. And I am not going to take it and I am going to message them uh, and I am going to track it down because you can't be sending out messages like this in a world where proof, pretty much, uh, unless you're Putin, uh, is, you know, concrete. Hit me with a time, a date, an incident. Don't have to give me names to protect them, but don't do this. This is pathetic. Okay, that is my moan, uh, and that's out of the way. But it is upsetting, Ali, when we put so much effort into shit, and somebody can just make something up, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're constantly having um, messages and contacts back in mod chat with... Uh, uh warning so we're always abreast of possible patterns that are going on and 
normally a mod, especially on Twitch, because it's it's easier. You you can time someone out, or you, you you delete a comment and you move on. Just as you would hope, no one would use that sort of phrase yeah, or yeah. language in the street. You, you, we're all in a chat room together. We're all trying to have fun. You're streaming and, and we're watching silly stuff or talking about silly things, but it's not a free forum to say what no, you want you can't you just can't um, come in here and say it and if a mod flags it up all they're doing is flagging it up there is tos all over the place just because you grew up saying a slang doesn't mean you can carry on so if a mod asks you they ask you very nicely uh, and it's done and that's it and that's only because you will trash you will get us in trouble or we'll get a warning. Now, we don't control anything that, and, and I'm not held responsible for anything that's said in the chat, but we just try and keep it down. But act like a man. There's been a few other people uh, that we've had stuff where they've been asked to do something and they just go straight into shit theory. A lot of men do it. Uh, I keep saying it where, um, you know, they get, they get accused of something and then they instantly try and become the victim. And it's, it's crap really crap you are not a victim you were you were warned repeatedly to stop it and what makes you think you can message me and pass your crap on because i showed you what he what they messaged me it was, yeah. it was junk it's, wasn't it yeah. and really yeah. awful to come out uh, yeah. at the end of a stream on it oh well i thought you were better than that all this shit you know what the fuck i didn't even you know i can't be over everything it's really really weird uh yeah it is uh, a will smith thing but i expect so much better of any key uh to say i wonder how many people without any investigation uh that they've done that to i would say very very poor especially because you just couldn't nail me on it you could go through every sheet every log sheet i've ever had and you would never get me because it's not in my DNA to to go on someone's stream and just shout a load of shit. Person yeah. isn't even a fucking streamer. So who would it be? You know, like all the people we connect with, it wouldn't be, would it? You know what I mean? All the streamers that I go, it wouldn't be. So it's one little shit that's done it. Mm. And it's that's all I'm saying. That's not fair. This is my living, right? It's one thing to be able to give a bad review to a shop which i seriously think google crow uh, you know google has too much on i think it's too much um i think it's too much uh response uh, too much power that google has the same with um when it first started not trust pilot um uh i can't remember but it's not fair uh when somebody can give you a dog shit review and it's something like they didn't answer the phone it's like well that's not anything to do with the business they were probably busy what the fuck so i think in this case as well you've got to be really careful and you've got to support the streamers because uh otherwise it's just a one-sided affair anybody can just pluck something out of the air uh and off they go with it and then i lose my ability to earn any money for a week it's not on dude and if the person is that did it watching please stop it i'm i don't have a pot to piss in at the minute uh you were affect you could affect my earnings and all i've done is said i don't want you on my stream because you're incapable of taking direction from the mods okay that's all i'm asking is little bit more transparency with these i know they're an unfunded thing but what's the point of towing the line from the very start that we backed any key we got everybody to do it we spoke about it relentlessly and then you just get this shitty email saying step up or fuck off and you're like i didn't do anything not according to art you know what i mean it's just crap and i recommend all of you if you get told off and you haven't done anything fucking fight it all the way because this is bullshit this is bullshit this is like the same thing as when your anxieties hurt people this may be directionless and uh something that i should ignore but at the same time it's pretty damn crap as an organization just to send out willy-nilly stuff like that with zero proof and also i mean if what you talk about doesn't give you a free reign to do anything else but if they'd have watched last night's stream and what you were talking about in particular um 
they would only have to see that to know you're not that type of person. I know. It's just um, completely... And the the retro stuff we watched, we are uh, try as hard as we can to um, cover it because there's some old views in it, and and we try and cut all that out and nudity and yeah. boobs and and perhaps we're a little bit too quick sometimes to time someone out, but it's only on the positive side of getting things right because there's everyone else is in the chat and everyone else well, needs we to had feel so many people welcome. come in and went you guys are over the top you can show you can show nipples on twitch it's after nine o'clock and they just make these people make this shit up right and then uh what kath did was copy and pasted the tos from uh, thingy saying no nipples should be shown no side boob no buttocks no referencing and the problem is what will ban us will be a bot same thing when I get timed out on here when we show things, you know, that uh, a copyright, it just boshes you straight off. And then you have to try and get to a person. It's excruciating. Uh, and it's really bad uh, uh, to do it just because you're unhappy with something that's said. Don't try and trash something. It's really fucking mean. But like I said, we we do have to, if we show one nipple, that's it. We're gone. Accidentally, you know, uh, if we show one thing out of TOS, we apologize profusely uh, against all the political stuff that's said in our retro watch. And then some people are like, get over it. What are you doing? We're just covering our asses all the time. But we also aren't laughing at and aren't enjoying any racist comments because that's the problem for so long. That's where all these people have shit fits. Oh, I can't say that anymore. No, you fucking can't. Grow up. That's the whole thing. None of us can say those shit things anymore. That's the thing. Now, does it go over the top? It goes over the top a lot of the time. And it spills over into the world of impersonations. And personally, I believe that uh, as long as it's not derogatory and it's not taking the piss out of that, uh, you know, out of that community... Uh, then sometimes I don't I, I don't think you want to live in a world that is so staunch. But at the same time, this right is not, and this is this goes to to haters or people that become problematic. This isn't your chat. This is my chat, right? And all of you are more than welcome to spam the fuck out of it with lovely stuff, silly stuff, stuff that don't make sense, whatever you want right but you get a lot of people they'll come on and you can spot them because you know them as the community they don't talk to anybody else in the chat and instantly they're like terry do this terry do that terry do, 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 do. So, and i ignore them because uh, it's not going to drive the narrative of what's going on so at the same time don't have a shit fit i'm not just i'm here for everybody i'm trying to pick this shit up all the time you cannot drive the narrative of this you know what I mean? Just mainly because it's, you know, we talk about custard and then we go somewhere else and then we do stuff like that, you know? It, it, I don't want one person to be able to come in and, and go, oh, tell us about uh, that time with, uh, you know, in toast and that. Every now and again, if I'm fly, you know, if I haven't got anything, this is brilliant, you know? But otherwise, fucking hell, man, you've got to sort out the ability for people to report you they have to report all i'm asking for is a screen grab right if i did anything which i didn't right then i, I wouldn't even flag this up if i'd have done it you know what i mean i'd have like smoothed it over taken the hit and gone well you know it doesn't really matter anyway because uh that you know there's nothing in that organization that uh, affects me blah 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 but it's not fucking fair <laughs> Because it means anybody can reach out, report me, and with zero proof, uh, I'm on my final warning. That's what that that's what that says. That says one more and we'll take that badge away. Not good enough. Not good enough when all I do and I only do it because of toe the line, because I grew up in a place where, you know, it was pretty, you know, kids are fucking horrible, right? We've all said this before. Everyone's had the piss taken out of them. I didn't really have a great childhood in the sense of school. You know, when I was at home, I had a brilliant time kicking to dead, 
kicking to death dead trees and uh, setting fire to things and yeah you know mum and dad were were brilliant and uh you know there was nothing but school was dog shit it was just one great big piss take they used to read out my spelling age every friday which was about four <laughs> and it just doesn't build up morale it doesn't build up anything so you know i would never take the piss out of anybody you can see from my humor from my interviews all over the thing my comedy is always about either being silly now not always with greg wallace uh but that's by the by but it's not uh, an attack comedy so it's just not fair that one person has the uh power to uh to shut everything down and i'm asking uh, for any key and other organisations to weigh up this before you go into these things. Before you act as judge and jury, which you have there by putting me on my final warning, show me some proof. Because I tell you now, they can't. You know, it's just not on. It's the flip side of being an adult, right? If I do something right and you have a go at me, I'm going to have a go back because it's not right. Yeah? Again, silly so that's my moan uh for today uh is uh organizations with uh you know no clue what they're doing uh and that is under par and not good enough and i only say this after night after night after night of our mental health chats uh, being careful not to uh, pretend that i know everything and flashing the organizations up you know what i mean it's just it's crap isn't it it's really mm. crap yeah um because couldn't be more fairer uh, and this is the shit you get in the dead and i and i I'll, I'll admit i'm a sensitive little flower which is uh desperately unattractive but uh, <laughs> that had me up at uh i woke up at uh five o'clock this morning couldn't go back to sleep just little things if i'm honest something else would i've only just paid my council tax because brighton couldn't get it together and that kept me up as well but it's not fair uh and life isn't fair and things aren't fair but fuck it i'm allowed to uh i'm allowed to say uh yeah. changing the subject uh as i waffle on and on and on about it it's very attractive um is it gonna snow tomorrow or is it the day after uh thursday i believe i was told oh it's gone now for me oh sunday we've got snow in wales god this is the time of year isn't it does anybody remember um does anybody remember going on holiday as a kid you know mum and dad would either take the caravan out and you'd go somewhere and it would be fucking freezing <laughs> <laughs> in the caravan would be completely steamed up might as well be in the toilet at home with the bath running you got no idea what's outside you ever gone on a you ever gone on a on a holiday in uh uh easter and it's just been abysmal I don't think I have, you know. No, I do, plenty of times because you get too excited about the bank holidays and you'll book something and it will just be desperately freezing and really. But a week before, it will be stunning. So everybody gets way too excited. You know, like in the shops now, there'll be shorts and short sleeve shirts. And it's just not... The only thing that this time of year for is getting too hot on a train because you've worn a coat. Because when you walked out in the morning, it was absolutely freezing. And now it's quite average. Yeah. That, that's a good alchemy, isn't it? it, it book, bookend it, uh, each year uh, at the start and the end of the year. It's uh, not being able to gauge your uh, your clothes properly. Yeah, do I need a coat? Should I put my hat on? Yeah. Is there nothing worse than being on the tube with a big coat on? Oh, I'll tell you what's worse. Being uh, driving through London, it's a red hot day everybody's wearing shorts and you know summer type stuff and there's one bloke with a puffer jacket on <laughs> and I, I can't look at them i can't I'm about to, i go to a special place man I, I get hot just looking at them i'm like take it off jesus christ what's going on 
It's like when you go what? abroad, isn't it? And uh, I remember going to Morocco in about May, uh, and we were all dressed in shorts and stuff, and they were like wearing that. Uh, what is that robe called that they wear in Morocco? They look like um, uh, it looks like something out of Lord of the Rings. It's got a big pointy uh, hood. It's got a certain name. It's quite amazing to see, but they're all in that sort of stuff. I don't. Um... No, I just put it out. It's, uh, I'll put it out. It's got a special name. Uh, I'll put it out there for the chat. Maybe uh, somebody can find it afterwards. Uh, remember, 50% of our viewers watch this afterwards anyway. So if there is a comment or anything that you would like to uh, put in, doesn't mean necessarily mi mi miss the boat. The chat is separate. So if you wanted to uh, just put anything in the comment section, it's completely separate. So do flag things up or anything like that because uh, we can pick it up next episode or anything over uh, and just talk about Chessington. I lived in Chessington. And a wet Easter as a teenager and a day of OQs. Oh, wow. God, that sounds um, like... Um, that sounds good, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> David's brought up that he thinks summer is getting earlier and earlier. Uh, we seem to be getting lots of lovely weather May and June. And then mid-July and August, it's wet and windy. Have you noticed that, Terry? No. But okay. then I'm very unnoticeable. Yeah. Where does... Uh, no. Who who fl who did that, sorry? Who said that? David. Just oh, David. Uh, David Edmonds. Oh, just oh, from the, Edmonds. Monkey. That's all I live and breathe. Yeah. <laughs> That's typical Edmonds. Uh, whereabouts do you live? Edmonds. So we don't, we're, not, we're not after a postcode. So uh, uh, just a P.O. box. Um, yeah, probably. I don't know. Things are shifting, aren't I, they? I seem to remember at school holidays, it was six weeks, no rain whatsoever, full on, red up. And now you don't seem to get that. Oh, you I get remember breaks in between still and... being like, you know, because you don't, you forget how long into the year before you break up, right? So you break up, what, mid July or something? Yeah. So yeah. you're. Like, especially years ago in them old classrooms under them, no air conditioning. Oh, shit. I remember, like, thinking, shouldn't we be on holiday now? This is fucking blaring. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, summer holidays when you were a kid were just bliss. You know, when they first started and they just all, you know, you ain't got anything to worry about. They're just all there. I can remember eating some Weetabix with far too much sugar. I think I'd watched, I'd got up early, I did as a kid anyway, to watch Transformers because I think it was on like at 8.50 on uh, GMTV. Uh, and then Huckleberry Finn was on, which I think was a dub. I think it was a French Canadian thing. I don't know. Uh, not a cartoon. No, it was uh, a very Rather. low rent, uh, a very low rent. Um, thingy and then I remember just meeting up you know you'd had your breakfast and then you went round your mates and I just shouted up at the window and off you went to go kick some tree to death <laughs> oh man you can't you couldn't be like oh but I seem to remember that Christmas was longer than it was because Christmas is only two weeks isn't it for the kids Yes, depending on when the weekend falls, it's it's normally two weeks. But then isn't Easter longer because of the way... Is Easter two weeks as well? Yeah, two weeks school holidays, yeah. See, for me, you, you should put three weeks at Christmas. It's Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Shave a week off my summer holiday and put an extra bit on Christmas. I've got all my toys I want to play with. I don't want to go back. Hmm. And if it snowed in early January, you'd, you'd want to be out, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Screw Easter. Easter is the absolute antithesis of boredom. Especially as a kid. Weather wasn't good enough. The only good thing was the eggs. Otherwise, it was a really boring time of year. Bloody Easter. 
gets confusing as a kid. What's Jesus up to? What the fucking hell is Jesus up to? And how come the book, how come the good book gets really vague on what happened to him? Because he's, he's born. He only lives for three months. <laughs> <laughs> but somehow becomes a carpenter. But could hardly cut his little baby fingers off. Then he's crucified. Then he gets Eggs. up again. <laughs> Yeah, then there's chocolate. Then he gets up again, says, ah, uh, whatever. Where where did he go? What does the book say? Where the fuck did Jesus go? And it's like some bad Italian film that we normally watch on a Friday night. Why did they not feel the need to wrap up the story at that point? And Jesus got up and walked off. Say, sorry, what? Huh? Where did he go? What? What? Do you know, Ali? What happened to him after? He... I'm not helping you with this one, mate. <laughs> Why? Because it uh, really, right now, you're threading the beads through your fingers and uh, slashing your back up. Uh, you're uh so, yeah, you're so religious. This is totally offensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to send you a um, a message when we finish streaming. Say, Sorry, me. that's mate. Yeah. Good night. You're reported. <laughs> Um, I I don't know. I've not looked that great a deal detail into it. But as a it. kid, like they really pushed it down my throat because I, I grew up in a very uh, you know Church of England village, um, you know. So uh, harvest festival was a big thing. You know, you gave old people knackered old tins, and they were like, "I can't open it," and you're like, "Whatever, granddad." Uh, and then you sung some really shitty hymns, and then but they were always shoving the 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 nativity down your throat. Yeah, and it just gets very vague. How come we're allowed to like the nativity? There's a play, Jesus, three three Marys, <laughs> uh, three El Marys, uh, you know, three shepherds, three wise men. Why is there no play at Easter? Think of the jeopard. Think of the, the 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 angst that as a young child you get in. Think of the kid that's going to get crucified. Think of the kid that gets the role of Judas. This is gritty stuff as an actor. If anything, mm. the nativity is piss in the wind. It yeah, maybe difficult for kids of five and six to act out the, the truth of. Uh, the absolute truth of it. Just get a load of tomato yeah. ketchup as it pisses out of his head. Mm. <laughs> Just get a kid. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Just and urinates itself. Be brilliant. It's a good idea. Yeah. Note that one down. We'll do that. Note that Easter. one down. And then at the end, you give out eggs, but it's got real blood in it just to really get the story across there's probably some new age kids now doing it hey welcome welcome do you, do you remember at christmas time that oranges yeah with a red band around the middle and then four cocktail sticks in with raisins on and then a candle in the middle of the orange no no Okay. This sounds like some sort of <laughs> crazy demonic <laughs> karate orange. Right. I um, I'm going to look for a picture and put There's it in Discord. There's a raisin in the middle. What? Just one single raisin? No, the raisins are on the end of the cocktail sticks. I, I'm really hoping someone in chat um oh, no, can no. agree with me. I remember like find a a fruit was fruit fruit had much bigger place in like my dad used to I can't remember who, I think he was driving for Littlewoods at the time. Uh, and he'd come back with a big bowl of fruit. And even as a kid, I didn't like it, but it was so colourful and fabulous. It just looked wonderful. Chris Tingle. Not one of the Emmerdale people. Chris Tingle. Tingle? Yeah, a symbolic object used in the Advent Christmas. Uh, Hello, I'm a little orange. I've got raisin fries and I'm a red belt. Oh, yeah. No. 
Okay, well, pop that up in Discord. We'll have a look at that. All I remember is the coat hangers, the the, the highly flammable coat hanger candle that uh, Blue Peter used to. How many how many house fires was yeah. Blue Peter responsible for with those really ropey? Because tinsel was all you had in the eighties, and those fold out concert. You know that we've spoken about them before. Do you remember they were like in a star formation and they just folded out in a concertina yeah. style, which went across the God, they must have been highly flammable. Man, a tinsel. You've only got to look at old, uh, at the, the 80s retro stuff whenever there's a Christmas episode. It's just buried in a bunch of fire hazard. And they wanted to put candles on the end of the... Fuck oh, off. Ma, sorry, yeah. Mum, I burnt the house down. Anyway. And, and I wasn't a, a religious school or anything, but at, at first school, we would have the Christmas assembly and we'd all be given one of these oranges. Yeah. And have to sort of go out and give it to our parents. And Oh, I wasn't in a religious school, but it's just what happened is what mm. they did. They just sort of shoved it all down your throat and it was, you know, part of, uh, part of the thing, really. I think... Uh, we Moralistic. Did May Day as well. Did you ever do uh, the May celebrations? We did, uh, you know, it got very Wicker Man. We did the, um, what's it called? The pole thing uh, that you dance around. Pole dancing. That's it. We did slutty pole dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the teacher saying to me, your slap drops, really something to be old, Terry. But uh, next time... Uh, Take your heels off before you tuck into your milk. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, yeah. What was maypole. It? maypole dancing around the maypole. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, doing all that and stuff. So it was a very. It's, it's because it was the eighties, and I guess you were dealing with eighties, nineties. You were dealing with whatever they had, because the national curriculum was a bit of a mess, wasn't it? Really. So you would have had everything like when people say how exciting and new the 80s was it kind of wasn't in a lot of places especially where i grew up because bakelite you know the brown strange plastic thing everything was still very very old everything was still mm. sort of knackered you know like uh telephone boxes were really old and things you know remember we had a jumbo typewriter at our school and if you were lucky uh your uh, your homework or whatever that you did could be displayed if uh, if one of the teachers typed it up on a jumbo typewriter. Ooh. My mum did a course in electronic typewritering. I remember that thing rattling away like Dickie Davis's football results. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Oh, well, Simon, that's just not a good story. That's not, that's not Christmassy, is it? But yeah, uh, I think at school they were just sort of making up, especially when you're a kid, 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 because they're just, they're just keeping you, they're just uh, glorified uh, childcare, really, aren't they? They're not. Some kids can't be taught. Some kids don't want to be taught. It's not until you get up there at 16 that you can actually start teaching and sculpting stuff. So I imagine a lot of it was just a load of... We were always copying stuff out, which is absolutely mm. crap. The, the teacher had copied out onto an overhead projector yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah, absolute junk. You just go into robot stuff, you don't learn anything. It's absolutely weird. But in fact, coming out, I've spoken to about it regularly, coming out of school, why did they not teach us how to fucking write a check at the time checks were used? Yeah. Why didn't they teach us about APR? Why didn't they teach us about anything that was fucking useful? Why don't they teach me about reading the gas meter or turning the water thing off? Not what, but I know all about King Henry VIII and where he used to hunt. Absolute junk. Oh, I have to stop this because uh, we'll get cancelled out. Anyway, I think I've waffled on way too long because uh, I moaned at the start. Uh, yeah, uh, Tilde, you might want to uh, have a quick look at the start of this because uh, uh, you'll be interested uh, to see what we spoke about. Um, what are we on? Where are we? Where is my... Oh, here. So, tomorrow night, 
uh, on YouTube. Uh, we are... No, we're on YouTube now. Tomorrow night on Twitch uh, at 8 o'clock. Uh, we're going through a load of old clips and stuff. So do join us then uh, as we have a little look. Uh, what have we got? We, we've, we've got... We've got something so, really good tomorrow night. Yeah, so we've got music by uh, actors or soap stars or TV personalities. Don't that, make you feel that, good. Oh, there's one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that wouldn't normally have done it. So Ooh, just sort of one off hits. Mona. And that. Uh, so you can put your clips in Discord and we'll try and get them on There you go. Out. Anything. Uh, I'm sure Sid Owen and Patsy Palmer had a song together. But uh, every time I've spoken about it, everyone's gone, nah. I'm sure they did. But yeah, go on our Discord uh, and suggest stuff. We, we've got uh, a long list of soap stars. Do you remember the guy that was really quite pretty? Uh, he was in EastEnders. He played a football star. He was going out with a girl called Mandy. And then he did quite well in America and did the piss take of 500. Sean McGuire. Yeah. Oh. Sean, Sean Maguire. Sean Maguire. Yeah, he had a he had a bit of a sing singing career as well, didn't he? Yeah, got that. Ooh, uh, have we got the Ant and Deck one that they're taking way too seriously? No, I was trying to. Uh, I'll, I'll find it and I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll put it on tomorrow night. So join us uh, from eight o'clock tomorrow night on Twitch. Uh, the link is up there. Uh, do join right now. And also do me a favor. If you like today and you want to fight against uh, the Bosch that we're currently under, uh, do click like uh, and uh, uh, and click the bell to show uh, these people that they don't know what they're talking about. And uh, it is a ridiculous thing. Uh, and to leave us alone especially when we uh, we're doing so much good in the community uh, so do join us at eight o'clock tomorrow night on twitch what is twitch it's exactly the same as youtube it's just a bit more arsy uh, and pernickety in the sense that you can join subscriptions do things give me bits blah 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 but you don't need to do any of that you just need to view sit there and go what the fuck is this uh, and then eventually round about your fourth time um you'll be fine and this is what we do uh we look after people um so if you come in and you don't know your ass from your elbow on twitch just say uh go on there and say uh and uh not only will the mods but all of my wonderful community will just reach out and help you and explain everything because it is a safe place it is a safe place uh contrary to uh Oh, it's going again. Oh, do you know my topical impersonations? Oh, yes, it's coming over here. Anyway, join us tomorrow night at 8 o'clock on Twitch uh, and see what that's all about. Or join my Instagram and keep an eye on what's going on. The studio has been finished, may I add. Today was the last drop of paint put on the ceiling. I don't think I've done a particularly good job, but the whole place is now brilliant white, so I'm popping... Uh, a little bit more and the lights are really working um really enjoying being here in wales uh and uh, i feel a lot safer and a lot less stressed and i'm really enjoying life at the minute which is a great wonderful thing so as we've said before if you are struggling if you are uh you know mulling over or you're stuck in a cognitive loop where you're still thinking about the same thing it is time to move forward and get help or talk to people or go in the right direction because you are good good people and you do not deserve to feel bad people shouldn't feel bad when they've done nothing wrong and that's what my whole that's what this stream is about don't feel bad don't let people make you feel bad don't let yourself make yourself feel bad don't do it stick up for yourself you're fabulous people uh, and you deserve the world and you deserve not going around feeling bad when you haven't done anything wrong so make those steps but really truthfully just stick with us uh, and we will take care of you uh, and listen to uh, your stories uh, and go through it because it's the same thing um, I said to a, a friend uh, that, that had lost another friend and I lost my friend uh, one of my dearest friends uh, on Boxing Day uh, absolutely horrific and the truth is you're not alone 
everybody's going through this and the solace and the power that you can take from that i can't walk in your shoes i don't feel the same way that you do i can't borrow your grief or take from it or pretend that i understand it but we're all going through the same thing so do not suffer in silence because you are good good people have a really brilliant night and we will see you tomorrow oh do keep an eye out for the notifications because i'm going to kick the shit out of youtube uh this next two weeks to try and push us over the 4,000 watching hours um so take care of yourself you're good good people lots of love and i'll see you tomorrow at eight o'clock ali thank you very much as always no worries cheers mate looking forward to the terrible uh, uh bands tomorrow well, they're not bands are there's the solo acts i'm gonna have to try and think of something obscure somebody who oh no not jason king Ugh. moving on have a good night uh, we'll see you tomorrow at eight o'clock on twitch uh do keep an eye on my twitter and